Okay, welcome back. Let's look at why should we actually have goals. Have you ever wanted to have something, gain something? Maybe even you committed certain resources to achieving it. Maybe you worked really hard at it and yet you failed to acquire it. Something like losing weight or being your ideal size. Maybe you wanted to make more money. Maybe you wanted to create abundance in any or all of the areas in your life. Maybe you wanted to start your own business, to be in better health. Or maybe find your life mate, your soul mate, and have a loving family. These are just some of the things that people want in their life. And yet, kind of just hope that it's going to fall in their lap. Not actually having a clear, purpose-driven, meaningful outcome that they want to achieve with a map to actually get it. And that's why we want to have goals. Goals help to provide focus and clarity. Working on something without having a goal is a waste of both time and energy. I mean, imagine shooting an arrow without knowing the target. How would you know if it was an accurate shot. Having great potential but lacking in focus makes the potential worthless. Having a goal gives one direction and purpose in life, allowing one to focus on the desired target rather than just moving aimlessly in life. I mean, if you didn't know where you were wanted to go to, how would you know if you actually ever got there? So goals help to provide this focus and clarity. They also help us to measure our progress. So essentially tracking our progress of our accomplishment. Have we achieved it? Haven't we achieved it? It helps to measure the progress against maybe a fixed endpoint to compare it with some form of benchmark that was actually set in the initial phase of the process of the goal setting. If I wanted to lose weight as an example, then what am I going to measure it against? Or if I want to be my ideal size, where am I now? Where do I want to be? Let's say I want to lose 15 pounds over the next three months because there's a specific event coming on. And I think, okay, I'm going to do five pounds per month. However, at the end of month one, I measure and I go, oops, I haven't lost any weight. Now I can measure my progress. I can say, hey, what's been working? What hasn't worked? What do I need to change to make sure that, hey, I still will be able to go ahead and achieve that result at the end of the three months? So goals help us to measure this progress. Where are we now? Where do we want to be? The goals also help to provide motivation. Especially if this goal is something that's really worthwhile and really meaningful for us. Remember I mentioned earlier that our goals and our values and our motivation actually are connected. Or should I say our motivation and our values are connected. But if we can connect our goals to that, then that makes them a lot more motivating. And of course, over and above that, that sense of pride and achievement that we feel as we actually achieve these goals, then further motivate us in wanting to achieve more. So then we might set bigger, more meaningful goals, really stepping outside of our comfort zone and saying, hey, if I can do this, what else can I do? And this builds on our confidence and our competence and then builds on our self-belief and meaning, you know what, I really can achieve anything that I set my mind to. In doing this, it also creates a roadmap. Having a clear goal is like having a clear roadmap and a route to your destination. Knowing what actions to take, what steps to take in order to make that goal achievement a reality. Did you know the space shuttle, when it flies to the moon, is only on course for a very small percentage of time? And yet, it flies its specific trajectory 
to actually intercept, so to speak, to go and land on the moon. Think of it a different way. If you wanted to go on holiday, let's say I wanted to go to Hawaii for the, for the Easter holidays. I don't just go to the airport, hop on the first airplane, and hopefully it's going to take me to Hawaii. No, I've pre-planned. I knew what was the flight number, what time was the flight going to go. I've pre-booked my flight so I can make sure that I'm on the right airplane to get to the right destination. So having this roadmap is going to make it a lot easier to achieve the outcomes that we want. And so then having these goals actually transform these seemingly insurmountable problems and we can drop it down into smaller chunks. So breaking the large tasks down into smaller, more manageable action steps makes it easier to achieve. And so what that really means is that I might have a really major goal. I break it down into smaller areas. Again, let's just use weight loss as, as the example because it's so easy to explain. Let's say I wanted to drop 100 pounds. Well, if I'm thinking, whoa, 100 pounds? That's like mind-blowing. How am I going to drop all of that weight? But if I break it down and I say, you know what, let's just go five pound increments or 10 pound increments. And then every 10 pounds that I drop, I celebrate myself and I go for the next 10 pounds and then I go for the next 10 pounds. And all I'm focusing on is the next 10 pounds, dropping it down into incremental tasks so that as we achieve the smaller goal, en route to the bigger goal, again, it builds on the motivation, it builds on our competence and our confidence. So that we can go ahead and achieve the major goals that we want, which of course is going to really enrich our life. And we can do this in all areas, whether that's in our personal life or in our business life, whether it's relationships, whether it's starting a business, whether it's changing jobs, we can live a more fulfilled life by simply breaking down that overall goal into smaller, more manageable chunks, knowing where we're going as we stay motivated to achieve the mini outcomes en route to the major outcome. Now, these are just some reasons why I might want to have a, have a goal. Of course, like I said, we can have goals for all sorts of things, having better relationships, starting my own business, changing jobs, whatever it might be. And in the next section, we're actually going to look at that to see which area is it that you might want to work on first. Is it within your life or your business or relationship? What area would you like to work on first to create the most meaningful outcomes for you? So I'll see you in the next video.